provoked through prayer provoked by the anointing go ahead and pray let favor rest upon me that if I did not receive anything in tonight's service let me carry that grace let me carry that grace someone pray let me carry that grace let it speak redefining my finances let it speak redefining my opportunities let it speak redefining my realities online make sure you are praying Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. There is a grace called favor. It can come on men. The results can be evident. Bringing acceleration to your life. That whilst you serve the purposes of God. You advance with dignity. You make progress with dignity. Favor can redefine your marriage. The favor of God can redefine your family. It is not unmerited. Favor is merited favor is programmable favor is merited favor can be programmable pastor declare favor upon your life favor upon your ministry favor upon your business access to kindness access to unusual acceptance in the name of Jesus, unusual kindness, unusual acceptance, pray favor over your business. In addition to your productivity, you need favor. Pray favor upon your ministry. In addition to your diligence and consecration. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to pray this final prayer with all your heart. Jesus was teaching us how to pray and he said two things. Number one, he said, deliver us from evil deliver us from evil is the second prayer i penned down while in canada the lord put in my heart many of you do not know the mystery of calamities listen to my message deliverance from calamities you don't have to be an evil person to be a victim of calamities are we together now mishaps misfortune it says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous did you know there are people who walk head on and collide with calamity head on they are looking and you will think they are watching until they collide with calamity deliver us from evil are you ready to pray shout it say father, father. i decree and declare I decree. that the rod of the wicked will not come near my dwelling i am delivered from trouble from pain from setbacks from calamity go ahead and pray please open your mouth and pray calamity of any and all sorts i'm escaped like the bird before the net the rod of the wicked someone pray the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. The rod of the wicked. The rod of kidnappers. The rod of armed robbers. The rod of evil men. The rod of ill, ill-speaking men. The counsels of Ahithophel. The rod of the wicked. In your place of work, Koinonia pray. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. In your business endeavor, deliver me from evil. Deliver me from the scourge of the tongue. Deliver me from the ill wishes of wicked men. Deliver me from there that will not rest till they see your tears. Those who have vowed not to rest till they see your pain. Those who have vowed not to rest till they see you defeated. Those who have vowed not to rest. Pray, deliver me from they who are in fraternity with dark spirits. Looking forward to your downfall. Looking forward to mishaps happening to you. One more minute you are praying. 
stretch that prayer to your children stretch that prayer to your spouse stretch that prayer to the works of your hands oh i escape like the bird before the snare of the fowler In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, there are people who have no business hating you, except that they kept companies and they transferred the hatred of antagonists to them and it fell on you. Your boss used to love you until someone who does not like you told your boss to join them in hating you and now you are fighting battles you cannot explain. Let me tell you the truth. It is your responsibility to sanitize your environment and that through prayer. Are we together now? The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. When a gatekeeper speaks evil about you, it can peg your destiny. When a, an evil person gets to the ears of your helper before your arrival, they can bring whispers of, this, of, of demons. And by the time you arrive from their ears, their hearts have been poisoned. When they look at you, they say, I've changed my mind. My intention was to lift you. My intention was to wipe your family. But somebody came and told me, your family is not worth helping. And they recycle seasons of pain. Let me pray for someone. Anyone who has sent a wrong word to the ears of your helper, and without you knowing that your helpers have had things about you that is responsible for the antagonisms I'm praying for you be delivered this night be delivered this night be delivered this night from the scourging tongues of men be delivered this night in the name of Jesus please stretch your hands to this prayer request Stretch your hands and begin to speak as an act of faith. We don't do this as a ritual. No. If God does, we don't have to do it in a miracle service. No. It is always because we have a release by the Spirit of God. It is no ritual at all. This is God visiting his people. If you are bringing a request, please bring it quickly. Everyone, you are praying. Father, answer me by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are not just a prayer hearing God. You are a prayer answering God. Let me not have to repeat these things I've written again. Satisfy me early with your mercy. Someone is praying. Satisfy me early. Take a minute to pray. You are investing. You wrote for your husband. You wrote for your wife. Now pray for them. You wrote for your children. Now pray for them. You came to church receiving, believing for someone else. Pray for them. In the name of Jesus Christ, Shali Bara Sopranda Pray for them. Pray for them. Father, you are a prayer answering God. I lay my hands over this request. Answer your people. Give them testimonies. Let it come to pass. Let it come to pass. Let it come to pass that you have shown them faithfulness. Let it come to pass that you have shown them mercy. Let it come to pass that you have turned their captivities. Let it come to pass in the name of Jesus that the doors have been opened. Let it come to pass and upgrade to the quality of their lives. Let it come to pass. Visit them. Impossible miracles in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, I lift my hands bowing my knees before your people in the name of Jesus I declare over every request here may it come to pass Amen. that the answers be delivered to your people speedily Amen. may it come to pass that the sickness is finally gone Amen. may it come to pass that the job has arrived Amen. may it come to pass that the baby has finally arrived May it come to pass that the visa finally came out. May it come to pass that the relocation worked. 
May it come to pass that the promotion happened. May it come to pass that the cancer is gone. May it come to pass that you now own your home. May it come to pass that Abuja has opened up for you. Whatever is consistent with God's desire as represented in this request, I declare speedy answers. The prophetic word for you over this, this request is that it will come to pass. In Jesus' name we pray. Lift your hands to receive the blessing. I pray for you. In the name that is above all names, doors open. Koinonia receive it, doors open. Every nation that has rejected you, not after this service, I decree and declare, let the gates be open for you. I say it again, every nation that has rejected you, not after this service, in the name of Jesus, let the gates be open for you. Whatever has made it difficult for you to meet your helper, by prophecy, I shorten the distance between you and your helper. By prophecy, I shorten the distance between you and your helper. I shorten the distance between you and your helper. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare, everyone who forgot you, may they remember you tonight. Not tomorrow, may they remember you tonight. May they remember you for good. May they remember you for kindness. May they remember you for promotion. May they remember you for lifting. May they remember you for help. May they be instruments of restoration. In the name of Jesus. Anyone who has said, where is your God? May this week be their answer. From Monday to Sunday, let there be testimonies that show where your God is. In the name of Jesus. And any covenant with hell, with the grave, with the spirit of death, we sever that covenant now. Let me pray for a man of God who is in ministry. May your hands be strengthened. That this remaining part of the year, you will wax valiant. You will do ministry with power. You will bring great glory to the name of the Lord. Let me pray for a family here. In spite of what may be happening around the nation, I pray for you. May a mark of exemption land on your head. A mark of exemption, let it rest on your head. In the name of Jesus. If you must travel, no accidents. If you are in the air, no plane crash. I decree and declare if you must travel, let the angels go before you, clearing out wicked men from the road. In the name of Jesus. I pray for your children. You will not hear bad news. You will not hear they've joined occult groups. You will not hear they are destroying the destiny of others. In the name of Jesus. Your portion in this Abuja, let it be delivered to you. Your portion in Nigeria, let it be delivered to you. Your portion across the globe, let it be delivered to you. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy no more delay. No more delay. For your job, no more delay. For your papers, no more delay. For your children, no more delay. Let me pray over your spiritual life. Fresh fire on your prayer altar. Shout amen. Fresh fire on your prayer altar. You are loving Jesus with all your heart. Serving Jesus with all your heart. I declare the grace for the study of the word. Let it rest upon you. I separate you from wicked people. I separate you from evil people. In the name of Jesus. You will not beg for food to eat. Let strangers be sent by God to help you. In the name of Jesus, in your place of work, good news this week. I say it again, in your place of work, good news this week. In your business, enjoy good news this week. Whatever you are waiting for, it arrives speedily. In the name of Jesus. Wave your hands to Jesus and give him praise for tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. For someone, difficulty has come to an end. 
you have enjoyed progress but with difficulty now step into the realm of ease over your finances may god give you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places oh you will find treasures this week your eyes will see where others do not see in the name of jesus amen and amen very quickly please allow me to make the altar call as we wrap up the service thank you for your patience it is always a joy and delight to lead somebody to jesus whoever you are when the master calls it is because he loves you when the master calls it is because he wants to end negative seasons over your life it is for your sake that we're taking out a minute or two wherever you are you're saying apostle please do not wrap up this miracle service for july without giving me an opportunity i want to surrender everything to jesus i want to receive his life wherever you are or you are saying apostle i want to rededicate my life please carry your bags your bibles whatever you came to church with we're going to count one to five as we appreciate them please leave your seat very quickly and come and stand before me god bless you many are already coming many are already coming join them you know you need to be here jesus is calling you go ahead one koinonia let's celebrate them as they come this is unto jesus two god bless you ma'am god bless you sir young old male female come three please if they are coming from outside clear the way for them very quickly all the overflows take a minute to walk to your led screen let's do that as fast as you can four when i count five i begin my prayer come god bless you you're joining them please make that fast your bags your bibles everything you came to church with join them very quickly final count five hallelujah thank you so much my dear brothers and sisters it is a delight for me and for us as before i continue wherever you are just take one minute to pray it's time for my value to find visibility it's time for what i carry to be seen and heard come on now someone pray man of god i like you to pray it's time for the investment of the spirit upon your life to be seen it's time for your gifting to be seen it's time for your sacrifice to be seen go ahead and pray outside pray Zaria pray Canada pray US pray UK pray my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're the lifter up of my head, the lifter up of my head. You're the lifter up of my head. seated I tell you things are shifting in the spirit shifting in the spirit shifting in the spirit I sense in my heart that for many people this is one of the reasons why you came tonight your issue is not laziness your issue is not lack of value your issue is not lack of resourcefulness. In all honesty, you are not lazy. You have taken the time to invest spiritually, intellectually. Oh, someone is about to be seen. Someone is about to be seen. Someone is about to be seen. I speak to you by the voice of prophecy. Someone is about to be noticed. Someone is about to be seen. A man of God is about to be handpicked and honored globally. Honored globally. Honored globally. 
a woman, a businesswoman is about to be seen. Your products like wildfire going across the globe. Be seated. Why do people remain stunted in life and destiny? They lack vision, they lack plans, goals, and defined expectations. They have wrong limiting belief systems. They lack value and resourcefulness. Number four. They lack wisdom. I'd like you to be very sensitive. I tell you, fire is falling in this place. Falling in this place. Falling in this place. You have been praying this for a long time. God, locate me. Help me. There, there, there is a helper who needs me. Where are they? I don't have the power to find them. Based on my background, I don't have the power to apakato seketa. I don't have the power to find them. I'm prophesying to you. You may not have the power to find them, but in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, Barikete Siata, I come in the spirit of Samuel, that missing donkey that is causing you restlessness. May it get back home. 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 In the name of Jesus. Please be seated. Number four, lack of wisdom. Lack of wisdom. And hear me, when it has to do with destiny actualization, now wisdom is fivefold in its operation. There are five dimensions of wisdom according to the book of Proverbs. And all of these dimensions of wisdom have mighty works that they command. There are two of these dimensions that are important for destiny actualization. They are all departments, subsets of wisdom. Number one is called divine direction. Number two is called divine strategies. These are expressions of wisdom as far as destiny actualization is concerned. Isaiah 30 and verse 21. Let's hurry up. Lack of wisdom. Many remain stunted in life because their ears have not heard a word behind them saying, this is the way. Walk ye in it when you turn to the right and to the left. If you lack divine direction, you are as limited as the direction that comes to your life or otherwise. Psalm 32 and verse 8. I want us to shout this scripture. One, two, go. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide you. Do you know what that means? I will guide you with revelation. I will use revelation to guide you into seasons. I will instruct you. I will teach you the way that you should go. God, should I pursue or should I overtake? This is one of the blessings of prayer. You see, one of the ways that we access wisdom, you have been taught here, is through meditation. Meditation on scripture and then quiet contemplation. The psalmist will usually say, Sila, pause and think. Wisdom is mindset activated. You need to use your mind. Wisdom is a function of deep contemplation. Hallelujah. Most people do not think they waste the investment of wisdom in their lives. But hear me, ladies and gentlemen, to the degree to which you access divine direction and the degree to which you access divine strategies, that is the degree to which you make advancement. Psalm 104, verse 24. We have to hurry up. Psalm 104, verse 24. The Lord orchestrated this solemn assembly tonight to change someone's life. It says, O oh Lord, how manifold are thy works. Then it says, in wisdom thou hast made them all. In wisdom 
in wisdom everywhere you see mighty works in ministry in an organization wisdom is behind it wisdom is is responsible for building anything noble anything that has durability has wisdom as its foundation anything that has durability sustainability spiritually intellectually organizationally when you see longevity ever increasing consistency it was built on wisdom hallelujah finances that was built on wisdom will not go up and down it goes up and stays up a family built on wisdom will not go up and down doesn't mean there will not be challenges but it will stay up a ministry that is built on wisdom will stay up a spiritual life built on wisdom will stay up you need to cry for the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom now listen I said this under point four that visions and goals are at the but they are as potent as the strategy they have refused to come to life because there was no strategy if you want to bring down Jericho that is a goal but what is the strategy if you want to walk up but what is the strategy you know how to do it to is a strategy who results and his wife and the judges come to wisdom two three shout Jesus bring them out in the name of Jesus I curse those spirits by the power that raised Christ from the dead every molestation every curse that followed you here every covenant that followed you here to destroy you to frustrate you I say it again it comes under arrest one more time shout Jesus spirits of delay delaying destinies delaying women delaying men I arrest you now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost release them now release your release your destinies now by the power of the Holy Ghost be delivered be delivered be delivered in the name of Jesus let them go let them go the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty every family here that does not rise it looks like when you are about to rise there are forces that sit on your destiny let the fire of the Holy Ghost let it come upon you now let it come up let it come upon you now let charms and altars be destroyed now let evil speakings incantations of witchcraft against your life against your marriage against your family let it be destroyed now bring them out the Lord is telling me to speak to someone that the attack on your life is because you are the deliverer of your family. The attack on your life is not because of something you did wrong. It's because the devil has seen that the hand of God is coming upon you. That you are the one God is raising. I cost that spirit. Release them now. I cost that spirit. Release them now. I cost that spirit. Release them now. In the name of Jesus. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head.
pray for those outside i'm praying for everyone but i want to pray for those outside those outside i want to pray for you there will be a mighty deliverance outside don't worry every overflow everywhere you can participate but outside those outside you are going to shout the name jesus at the count of three and i'm seeing fire falling outside there are ordinances of darkness some of them 100 years old 50 years old it was not your great grandparents came into it they met it there those outside you are going to shout the name jesus and the lord is going to be destroying the works of satan are you ready now at the count of three shout jesus one two three shout jesus broken 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 by the power of the holy spirit every altar tying down anyone outside from the front to the back the left to the right in the name of jesus i curse it now i curse it now bring them out in the name of jesus be released now be released now you're my glory the lifter up of my head I tell you sincerely even as a man of god today to god be the glory the blessing of God upon my life in ministry is that he has taken my voice to those who need what he has placed upon my life. That is a secret to honor. I know many business people who, there are people who have invested their, 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 their minds to get knowledge. But the organizations and the institutions that can reward them, they are not even in this country. But the devil will make it look that they, they will never see them. There will be testimonies from this miracle service. Some of you, whilst you are sitting by the spirit of grace, someone will talk to somebody about you. Someone will talk to someone about your daughter, about your son, about your husband, about your wife. I prophesy it upon you in the name of Jesus. Please sit down. There was a man in the Bible who had capacity to reorder the administrative system of Egypt. But that man was in a prison. He was interpreting dreams, but he was in a prison. And the only reason why he was in the prison was because the king had not heard about him. And the man he now pleaded with, he said, go and tell the king, I have this ability, I'm innocent. I don't even want greatness, I just want freedom. I was accused wrongly and I'm here. The Bible says, when God wanted to help that man called Joseph, the king slept and had a dream that no one else could interpret. I'm saying this as a prophecy for someone. There's, an, there's something God has placed on your head that none of your siblings carry. Makapara to kapara. There are many people in your organization, but there are things only you can do. I'm praying for you. What makes you unique? May God make men see it. What makes you outstanding? May God make men see it. What makes you exceptional? May God make men of capacity see it. Hear me? Related to value, let me remind you, it matters who sees you. When mean people see you, not an insult, they cannot reward you. When God wants to fast track a man's growth, hear me, especially economically, God brings people of capacity to see you because only kings can give you a king's reward. The wine presser cannot bring you out of prison. The baker cannot bring you out of prison. Only Pharaoh can bring you out of prison. Are we together now? You are Joseph, but you have been serving Pharaoh. You have been serving the wine presser. You have been serving the baker. It's time for Pharaoh to hear about you. It's time for Pharaoh to know that you can interpret dreams and you can bring economic solutions. Again, I pray for someone who came for Koinonia for a miracle service. The Pharaoh that has been assigned to identify your value. May they hear about you from tonight. May they hear about you from tonight. Hallelujah. 
I remember, I may not mention names, but the first ministry many years ago that heard about me and what God was doing in my life. Until then, there were ministries here and there within our local environment. And of course, everybody was rewarding based on their perception. This young man that God is using now. But I remember a ministry somewhere in the South South. Thank you so much for watching this powerful video by Apostle Joseph Selman. I hope you were blessed. Our prayer is that you won't just be a hearer of this word, but equally a doer of the word. We encourage you to like this video, share with your family and friends, and don't forget to subscribe. God bless you.